Hello everyone, my name is Christian Close. I am a drawer, illustration artist, sketcher, and a beginner in animation. Today I will be showing you how to draw a tree in a marsh or swamp. There are multiple bases, but today I will be showing you the base of a tree in which it would be on grass and on land next to the water and not submerged in it. But I will be showing you how to do other bases after I finish showing you how to draw the tree. So we're going to start with the base first off of the tree on how we want to draw it. So we can draw one part out for the beginning. Um, we will be drawing, there will be a, a uh, thick zone in, w in which that will be thick right there. And there is a thin zone which would be referring to the very top in which we would be going all the way down here. So now you don't have to do this, I just like to keep it in mind for how thick and thin, where it should begin and where it should end. So I'm going to be drawing the first part of the trunk now. Now a reminder also, um, you do not have to exactly draw the trunk entirely as a permanent the first time. Um, I'm doing a sketch here of what I would most likely want it to be looking like um, and how I feel that it should look like uh, for my purposes. Now we will also be doing decor um, and other things such as that later. But I'm going to begin first with the tree's trunk. Now that is how I decided to start off the first part of the tree would be right there. Now, it is nice to do a little bit like a hump on one side, such as that, uh, to start off uh, for that. Now, um, a good way to be looking at this is to make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more rough. So the tree is uh, not exactly very smooth, exactly when you look at a tree's trunk. So I will be edging it up a little bit here. Now you can draw your base however you want, anything similar. It could be they could be branching out in any direction, the actual leggings of the tree, if you would like to call it that, for the stump. Now we're gonna draw a little bit of detail details there. Uh, and now for the next part, which I really like, is going to be the vines. You don't have to draw these, I really think that they do look cool to be honest. Um, but as I was saying, you do not have to draw them. Uh, so let's get on with that. Um, usually you would like to wrap it around. So as what I'm going to be doing here is drawing the outermost edge part of the vine. So it, it would be going over um, go like that for now. Alright, and then uh, give that one sec. So we're going to be doing the vine. Um, you can really make it go any way you want, however thick or thin that you want it to be. Uh, it is your choice. A good way for to make this to look like it's going under is to make this right here. So, as you can see, it looks like it is, you'd make a line right there. Makes it look like it's wrapping underneath. Now, you don't have to make it as smooth. You can make it like a little bit more edged. Or a little bit more on detail. Now, we are going to be coming out and coming back over now as I was saying it could be the vine could be going in any direction that you want honestly uh, I'm going to make it like a little bit like wrapping around like that coming through here and then having this be it. So as you can see, we're going to erase the parts in which the tree is in the way. And going over. When you want something permanent, press down a little bit harder. I am using just a number two HB pencil. Um, I have other pencils that of graphite. You could use another graphite pencil if you want. Um, but I really think that you do not need it unless 
you really want to. Uh, for shading, I would recommend using a graphite pencil uh, just because it brings out a little bit more life to it. Um, but yeah, we, I'm going to uh, shade this in a little bit here. Like that. Um, yeah, and then make it a little bit darker in which there's shading that is. Okay, so that, that's the base. Um, what I'm going to be doing now is try to draw the actual shape of your tree and how you want it to go out. So I know I want mine to go a little bit that way and then have it come down like so. Now, that is the base of which you're going to be having right here. You're going to have the tree stem in which you want that. Um, there are other ways you can make it go out. Sometimes they have areas that go off like that. The small branches we won't be drawing yet um, because we don't need to yet, uh, but they do come uh, pretty close to being last in drawing the tree steps, so you're going to be going out. Um, really just make it coming out however you want um, and whichever way you want it. I know I'm going to be drawing uh, other ways, and this one, you're going to be having it come out um, and there's also layering in which the stems could meet each other. So what I'm also going to be doing here is drawing this up and going straight right there, which is showing that they're going to connect. Um, and then off here, maybe another one like so, and then a little bit lower, another one, and we're going to have something come up here and about branch off and uh, then we're gonna make you go a little bit out and yeah I think we're gonna have another little one right here and that about does it for right there we could do another uh, little one or something um, so yeah that is going to be your main figure on how you want the tree to look uh, so now when you're drawing the actual uh, tree, when you're drawing the main part in which it would be not the roots, um, but you're going to be drawing uh, the actual tree itself, you're going to want to make it a little bit more rough, I would say, for edging. Um, so what, see how I've got these little parts right here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making it thinner. As we know, that the thick should end about right here. So we're going to make that come in, and then we're going to be drawing our main stem of the tree. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you another technique that you can use in which it would be little parts of um, cut off branches that you could do, uh, which are kind of cool, or also um, little parts in the tree um, that have stunted in growth and the branch never formed. So, we're going to go up here. Now, that looks right there. Uh, like it would be a mistake almost or something rather off. But what we're going to be doing is we are going to be going right here, making little details, and we're going to be shading. About right there. So as you can see. So that is a stunted uh, part of the tree where a branch never grew up. Um, they are also... Uh, just parts of like the tree where it shows that it has just grown off a little bit. It makes it look a little bit more lively. Uh, you can add it if you want. You don't have to, uh, but I would recommend doing so. Uh, and then we're going to be making this part in which we're going to be going off to our first stem. So I actually want this to be a little bit lower. Alright, so we're going to be having it going off here and down, out, and up to show that they are joining. We could have two parts right here. Um, as you know, most, some branches actually uh, form together and grow into each other in which they keep going out, uh, but they have actually collided, so we're going to be drawing some of those. Um, we're also going to be doing growing behind, so to show a little bit of 3D. 
um, and other parts. So we're going to go out here a little bit. Gonna be getting thinner. So there's about a little branch that we could have. Uh, I'm gonna make another little part going out right here. There we go. And then it's going to come back in. That's a little bit too big. We're going to change that. All right. And then over here. Now, when a real decision that you have to decide is how far in you want to make the end of this branch. So as you can see, you can make it right there. You can make it up here. It's really how high and low you want the branch or far or out you want the branch to come in or as I said how far you want it to go out um, and also that will depend on the shading when we are drawing the actual leaves so I want mine to come in about there So, it's going to actually end up going like that. Now you could do little bumps, um, but try not to do too much of making it like bulge out in certain areas. You can if you want, um, but depending on how you want exactly to look will change how you will end up making it. So we're going to go out here. Um, over like that. So we have this right here um, for the stem. I'm going to actually make another one of those. And we're going to go right here. And there we have another stunt. Like so. This one's going to go off. Now here, we're going to have this. Um, so yeah, you could have uh, different ways in which you want it to go out. Um, I think for this one, I'm actually going to make it a little bit thinner. Yeah, so we're going to go over here, uh, make this. I'm 
draw a little section off right here. A little leaf branch. Um, we're going to be drawing the leaves at the very end. I know some people like doing a layout and actually doing uh, little circles um, and big blotched areas in which they're going to be drawing the leaves. Um, I don't do that. I thought for this purpose, I would be doing, instead of doing that, the actual tree first. Uh, but you can do that. Uh, go ahead and make your own spin off if you want. Um, other ideas. There, so we don't want to make it too thick. I'm actually, gonna change that. So there we go. Um, we're gonna be doing texture at the very end, um, and how exactly we're going to be carrying this out. Um, so, I'm going to start up near the top now and start working my way up to the final uh, trees. That's where they mostly start splitting off the most. And uh, so, yeah, however you want to do this, you can actually do like that, make a little bit of a line. It never has to be too smooth. So I'm going to leave a gap right there so that I can add a little bit more of the small branches uh, that are branching off from the main stem. <clears throat> so yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's that next one. So we're going to go on to the very top. And this one really draw your main stems that are coming off, uh, your branches that are coming off. Um, and in this, we are going to be drawing little branches that are going to be coming off from the main branches. Um, but in truth, you don't have to draw them. I mostly just start adding new branches when I get near the end, um, just because I haven't really made up my mind. And you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. You can, I mean, you can trace them, but really, once you start shaping your tree, it really starts shaping how you're going to be making it. And you don't know until you start getting up to the top how exactly you want your tree to look. So you can plan it out. Uh, you don't have to. I know I just usually... Um, go from where I am and I just plan it out as I go um, because it kind of gives a, a cool aspect because if you plan it out at first you're kind of setting yourself to something uh, which is why I, I set myself to the main tree um, but when you're going for the actual branches it, you just want to get I mean this is a tree in the swamp, it's going to get crazy wild in order to support all of the leaves it has on it. Um, there's just so much space. And then when you're drawing a huge scenario, you're going to have tons of trees. So you're going to want, you're going to go from the uh, main roots and the base. But they're going to start, the you're going to start drawing the stems and the branches going into each other. So, like when I draw big scenes of trees I usually start with the bases and then go up and I'll draw whichever tree I want to be in front first because that's gonna cover up the other ones so really I mean it's all up to you but I would just say start off with 
your main plan and then just go from there just go from there So make them like kind of thin. What I like to do is make them a little bit thinner than the other ones. So just kind of make them change. Um, I'm going to make this one go a little bit more than the rest. So really try to make them go thinner as you go along. Um, as in here. Um, yeah, so we're done with the right side. Um, actually, I think we could make one of them go up a little bit more. Because they're going to start branching off to go higher. Uh, there's a few uh, stems and branches up here that I want to make um, going up on top of the others to make it look kind of like there's different layering layers like that. And take it from there. So I'm gonna make, yeah, I don't want to make it level. I don't want to make like it really level um, to make it just look a little bit more different. Um, leave like gaps and spaces and stuff. Uh, you could, you can end it off like right there. You know, for the starting the top, which is what I usually do. You could make it go like a little bump and then start by, I usually make it go down just to show the separation of the branches um, from the left and the right. Finish drawing the main outline. So this, um, and then I might go back and add like a little bit more in the way of uh, small branches. They're taking off. Um, so yeah, so now. I'm almost done with this part, Get close, uh, which means that we'll be able to uh, draw other details on the tree and then we'll be able to start on the leaves. Now there are many different ways uh, for doing the leaves. I've seen people do multiple ways, like I said the blotches. Um, but for me, I was looking yesterday and I was trying to think of some new ways to do it. And I thought of just a different way for uh, dotting and drawing um, dark details. So and s you'll see what I mean. Um, but I decided to take a new spin off and see what you guys think of it. You can always change it and draw it, because I used to do uh, 
little parts of like an outline for where the, how much area the leaf space would take up for that one branch. Um, but I was deciding yesterday and I thought for this that I'd try something new and see how it looks. I think I tried one example the other day. It looked pretty good, um, but we're going to see how it will look on this one and add a new technique to these trees. All right, so <clears throat> that is that part. Now we're gonna be adding um, details to this. So first off, the base. Uh, for the roots, draw shadowing in the parts um, in which there's cover up. Uh, like so, like down there. Um, Nothing much of, yeah, you could uh, darken the roots right here when they're going under, um, and some right there. So yeah, you really want the detail right there. Put that down a little bit. All right. Uh, then we're gonna darken this. And we have a vine. Um, and then I'm going to do uh, some shading and more texturing on this part of the tree. So, right here, oh, I'm out of that. this one has a little bit of break. Um, and then I'm going to draw some more, um, uh, some more holes in the tree. So these, these would be, um, as I said, um, stunted uh, branches, or you could make them cut off um, that never, they could, ne you could have it so that they just never grew and it's just for detail, or you could have it that they were cut off. And um, there's also another thing you can do, which is you could either put them in front or you could make like a little hole. Um, one would be like if you wanted for a normal tree an owl hole uh, or like a rodent hole or animal hole. Um, I'm not going to be doing that this time. I'm just going to show you um, a stunt in front. So, drop a little hole here. And then shade it around. Like so. Like that. Uh, and shading uh, so you can see how that looks um, so that would be holding one like in having one uh, in front and so now I'm going to do the shading on this uh, go down here near the bottom that. Um, these are about in the shade a little bit. Now another thing you can do is make uh, shading right here. So like looks like it's like uh, they're shading behind it which is like another little thing you could do um, but then also make it go along here to dry it up a little bit get a little bit more detail um yeah, so we have that there. 
um, a little bit on this side. And then we'll do that. Um, there we go. Alright, so have this right here going up. You know, um, another part that you could do for the vine uh, in which you could add a second little thing. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing a little part right there. And this is going to go like this right here. Now, this is another part of the vine, which I add for some trees because it is kind of cool. Like so. Alright, then add it there. And like that. Now, you can make this there, you can make it go up, you can make it go down, you can make it wrap around again and then come back in that hole, uh, that, uh, well you could, I mean you could transform it into a little hole, um, which would most likely be what you would do, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it go up, so that you can see it. Alright, so uh, that's what you can do for that. Um, and then you can add like a little bit like shadowing underneath to make it to make a shadow for it. And you can also make it like a little bit under here or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, so there you go, you have that. Um, and then we're gonna go to the next part. Uh, which would be uh, the leaves. But before that, I'm going to add a little bit more texturing down there. Um, and always add little um, parts. Almost looking like um, spin offs of like bark, um, but just little like rivets in the tree. Let's go here. And then. A little bit over here, and some over here. <clears throat> All right, I think that's good for now. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to be adding more shading after we do the leaves. So I'm going to start doing the leaves right now. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, there are multiple places that you could start. Um, I'm going to work from the bottom down, so I'm going to start up here, um, right here, uh, at the very top to start off exactly uh, where the very top is going to be and showing how this tree is exactly going to form. Um, you can start at the, bo at the bottom if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to start right here. So. There's that. And we have that. Um, where it's going to be coming up. I'm also going to be doing a little bit right here. And 
Um, it's going to go over, so uh, try not to go up like a summit too much, like a little bit of a mountain shape. Don't do that exactly when you're on the top of this. Um, it's not really going to work all that well. It's going to look like the leaves are misshaped. I mean, you could do that if you wanted to, um, but um, I wouldn't do that. All right, so make sure you have a sharp pencil for this part. I'm going to be doing this um, and continuing. So now I'm going to start the other part, the uh, um, part in which it's going down. So. Um, So yeah. Uh, you can do different levels of it. And then we're gonna um, do this. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more over here. And then let's do this. Uh, let's see. So over here, um, and that shows that. Now, when we're doing the lines, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this. So what I would do is you could start at the top so you wanted to, but Another good thing to do is to start showing the drapes. How you're going to have these mossy leaves go down. So, I'm going to have a little bit over here. Um, these, you can have them short for a little bit more detail. And then it's going to go over down. Alright, so that's, that's to show you exactly how I'm going to be doing the lines. Now, it's important that you do this um, because it will show you exactly where you're going to have your lines, where you're going to be placing them, stuff like that. Down, drop. Now drop a little bit down. Alright, <clears throat> so we have this now, um, that is the, the drape, so you're going to start drawing the little parts, it's kind of hard to see, which are showing exactly. Now, don't completely draw over it. Um, 
maybe do too much, then it will definitely be um, too much of an outline. So we're gonna set this a little bit more up. And do Some right here. Uh, let's go up. Let's go right here. It's gonna move a gap right there. So that's your drapings um, for right there. Now, it looks different um, because what, we, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing it going to the branch, the shading, and then it's stopping. So... there. I'm going to do this right now because we're going to end up having to do this. So you're going to do a little bit of shading underneath each branch. <clears throat> um, have it in line though. It's a little bit of almost underlining um, for almost like bolding um, to show you exactly where these branches are, where the main branches are, uh, where it's going to end, what you should be looking for in the picture that you are creating. So I'm going to go with these. I do this to show a little bit more um, boldness to the picture. Uh, you don't have to, although I'd highly recommend it. Um, and don't overdo it. You want to stick close to the inside of the line. So now you can clearly see the main part of the tree in which I'm showing you here now. All right, <clears throat> so because that kind of looks cool. All right, um, I'm going to now. I'm going to. No, actually, no, we're not going to have that. We're just going to keep this routine. All right, yeah. So I'm going to now show you how to continue draping. Each side has a little bit of um, 
difference. Uh, you don't want to overdo it, so I'm going to do a little bit right here. Some parts have more than others. Like so, um, and then you want to um, let me clear this up a little bit. It's too much because it's kind of overlapping. So we're gonna so there we go. We have some right there. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more here. Okay. Um, in the end, we're going to be doing some shading, which is darker over some of the um, parts of the uh, leaves to show that they are in um, behind others and that some are in front. Um, all right so there we go now uh, I'm gonna do a little right here you can put as much or as little of this as you want I kind of like that I'm gonna be a little bit more dark So, um, now we're going to start moving up slowly to the very top. Uh, trying to define exact leaves that are coming down. Um, like so. Trying to show which ones are here and which ones are not. Um, which ones drape down from here, which ones drape down from here. Yeah, put some more shading over those that are there. Alright. So there you go. Um, now, more here. And I'm going to move up to the next part. Um, I also have done draping of some of the leaves over the actual tree, which I think will do some to give it more of a realistic effect um, because of a lot of it will end up being covered up in the end um, that we will be drawing. So, um, now that we have this, I'm going to get rid of this one. We're going to slowly start getting rid of the branches that we have here. They're going to be going down. Um, and we're going to be doing some of these. But still defining where these branches are so that we don't lose track of where they are so we know that it stops right there and so we got some hanging over now um, now we're going to do some right here really you can choose how thin or how thick you want these to be Try to stick with the um, main outline that you have of the uh, strokes 
of the leaves. So that we don't, or no one overdoes it. Um, so I'm going to draw a little more here. But if you're going to do some longer lines, then try showing that they are going down like so. Um, I'm going to show you the other tree that I did last night too uh, for this. Show you other ideas of um, of dotting or doing this technique. Um, so there we go. We have that. Um, I'm gonna make this one go over. I'm gonna make this one go over. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna, about all I'm gonna do for this one. But again, define where it ends, define where it begins, define where the gap is, and that there is the leaf, there are the leaves, which are right there. So those are hanging over. Um, You can make those end wherever you want. Uh, so we have that. This next part is a little bit different. Uh, where we're just going to be doing some parts up here. Showing that there are leaves hanging down right here. Doing that. Over here. So it should be drying down. And then we're going to end up moving on to the next section. I'm going to be doing um, shading last for the leaves of the different aspects of it, which one, which part's darker, which part's behind, which part's in front, um, that will be coming next after we finish this. So let's start on the right side uh, and finish what we were doing earlier. Some parts right there. Coming down and darker. All right, so we have those. Um, next, I'm going to be moving on to the dots, the technique, darken some parts. Right here. Um, yeah, so then there's going to be a little bit of lap, overlapping right here. We're going to draw a little bit of. Maybe that's what shows that they're overly 
tree first, but that there is a little bit of a draping effect right there. I want to make sure that the branches are outlined very well so that you can see which parts are the leaves, which parts are the stem. A little bit more. Make sure that it is coming down. All right. I'm gonna, do that. I'm gonna outline this a little bit. Don't let me blend. A little bit of an overlap right there. Okay, okay. so that's outlined. We have that. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more of the draping. just a matter of what you want and what you don't want. Yep. All right. I don't think. Well, actually, this one's part of one, and this is part of one. So we'll have these overlap. Show that leaves in there. There we go. I'm going to add the technique again. Here, here. Let's make the F. That is good. Um, really defining where this goes. All right. I think that we're actually going to have this one overlap. Um, as you can see, it's kind of coming down. This big part right here. next part it's really just you want to go um, I they really either way it's fine you could go I'd, I'd say for the outline move down and then for the uh, for the 
actual leads just go like whatever way you want. I might add a little bit more here. I feel that's kind of not really mixing in very well. So, um, so that's that one. I think that I'm going to move up to here now, um, start working on this. Now here, there is a lot of um, meshed leads, so you don't need to do a whole lot of separating wise. So what I do is I would do some dots, show like a little bit. And that they are going down like so right there. And really the leaves are just, they're all leaves. These parts, what I'm doing is I'm just overlining, showing what the different ways are. They're all random. So at not you're never, ever going to do them the exact same way every single time because there's it's too much so do a couple dots lines whatever you want to do Back up here um, just to show that you're defining and separating them uh, what I would do is just draw a whole lot and then um, what you're going to want to do is just make sure that they are following the order of your leaves on how they are draping down. So we're going to go here, over here, we go over like that, maybe some there, over there, and we have our shadowing, our shading right here. And then we're going to finish up with the last part, which will be, uh, let me erase that, and that looks like we have another draping leaf section, so I'm going to do that. And then this one looks like we could also do it. I think I'm going to do that one. Really, it's whatever you want to drape. Um, and then I'm going to do the last part right here. I'm actually going to extend some of this, I think. And then we can go down a little bit. Like so. And do this. Put that on. And we go around top. And I'm going to change pencil. So there you go. Um, that's the leaf part. What I would do now is start overlapping, getting rid of some of this, get rid of some of that, and then I'm gonna start doing that. 
issues with it still. Still showing that the branch goes out here to that. Bold that. Bold this. <coughs> um, I'm going to then uh, do some more in here. That went over, that went over, which would most likely go over. It's really up to you, whatever you want, whatever you want to go behind, whatever you want to go in front. Um, I might want to actually do that, so I'm going to do that, show that there's another one also kind of doing here. Still bolding it. There we go. I'm going to do some right here. See, it makes all the difference. You can do a little, as little or as much as you want. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, maybe some of that will come out here. Yeah, alright, sweet. Um, so, now we have our tree. Um, I think uh, some of this seems like it would be in the shade, so I'm just going to go a little bit, a little bit, and go over that. Let's go over that right there. And then some of this would probably be in the shade. So whatever you want going back, that one would be in front, this one would be in front, this one would be going back. They're overlapping it. A little bit of shade here. That one looks like that was in front. Dropping from behind. And yeah, this one, I think this one might be going back a little bit there. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have that. Um, so yeah. That is the uh, tree right there. We're going to do some shading with making some parts like a little bit darker um, than other parts showing that there is a difference you can do this if you want you don't have to technically by showing it the overlapping we've already done it but I just kind of like to do a couple of other parts a little bit darker than others like this and some right here. There we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna bold, bold that. I can't really see it very well. You wanna bold and everything. All right, so we got that. This shading that shade might be going a little bit over. And yeah, so there you go. That's how you have your tree right there. Uh, clear that off. Um, and then if you want to add, if you wanted to estimate a landscape, I'd say about right there so yeah uh thank you guys for watching and i'm now going to be showing you um one tree that i drew last night you'll see that if you you'll see that i based part of this off of the original one so that is the original tree that i drew last night in which i was trying to try the different dot i think that actually this uh, dot was a little bit better, um, a little bit more uh, clear than the one last night. Um, and now I'm going to take these away and I'm going to show you some other bases that you could do. We had some on the ground. Um, here's one if you wanted to do the 
roots going into the water kind of one part going into this side of the river bank river bed this would be if you wanted to do a marsh and you wanted the tree coming out you would have the tree submerged into the water um, with a little bit of decorum um, and some water um, rivets around yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time